Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to focus on introduction to Azure Databricks. Now note down an important point. This will be a completely theoretical video, so it can be little bit boring. But I promise you, from the next tutorial, we will start the hands-on labs and you will really enjoy these labs. So let us get started. Let us understand what are the points that we are going to cover in this video. First, we will understand introduction to Azure Databricks. After that, we will see the relationship between Apache Spark and Azure Databricks. Then we will see the working of Azure Databricks with the Azure Cloud. Then we will understand the managed integration of the Databricks with the open source technologies. And at the end, we will see what is Azure Databricks used for. So this is all about the agenda. Let us move ahead. The Azure Databricks is a cloud-based analytics platform. It simplifies the process of building, running and managing the big data applications. As well as it provides a unified workspace for data scientists, data engineers and machine learning workloads. The Azure Databricks is built on top of the Apache Spark engine. It is a powerful open source framework for the distributed computing. The Apache Spark used for wide variety of tasks which includes data processing, machine learning and graph processing. The Spark is known for its speed and efficiency as well as it has ability to handle the large data sets. So this is the short introduction of the Azure Databricks. It is a cloud based analytics platform and it is built on top of the Apache Spark engine. Now we will understand the relationship between Apache Spark and Databricks. The first point is foundation. Azure Databricks is built on top of the Apache Spark. That means all the capabilities and features of the Spark available within the Databricks. Optimization. Databricks is optimized for the Spark workloads. That means it is designed to provide the best possible performance and scalability for the applications. Managed Service Databricks is a managed service which means Microsoft handles the underlying infrastructure and maintenance. This allows users to focus on their data projects and this is without having to worry about the managing hardware and software. Additional Features The Databricks provides a number of additional features that makes it easier to build and manage the big data applications. These features include a collaborative workspace machine learning pipeline and data warehouse. In simple words, we can say that the Azure Databricks is a powerful and easy to use platform for building and running the big data applications, as well as it provides a managed environment for the Apache Spark, which makes it a great choice for the organizations that want to leverage the power of Spark without having to manage the underlying infrastructure. So this is the relationship between Apache Spark and the Databricks. Now we will understand the working of Azure Databricks with the Azure Cloud. Let us start with the Azure Storage. Here we will discuss these two points, Data Storage and Performance Optimization. The Databricks can directly access the data stored in Azure Blob Storage or Azure Data Lake Storage Generation 2. And the Databricks uses the Azure Storage Optimized Data Access Patterns for efficient data loading and processing. So this is how Azure Storage and Databricks works together. Let us move ahead. Azure Compute. Here we will understand about these two points, Spark clusters and scalability. Databricks creates and manage Apache Spark clusters on Azure Virtual Machines or Azure Databricks Runtime. The clusters can be scaled up or down based on the workload demands, ensuring optimal resource utilization. Azure Networking. Here we will understand these two points, connectivity and integration. Databricks leverages Azure Virtual Network to provide secure and isolated network connectivity for Databricks environment. You can integrate your Databricks environment with other Azure services within the same virtual net for seamless data flow. Azure Active Directory Here we will understand authentication and single sign-on. Databricks integrates with Azure Active Directory for user authentication and authorization. And the single sign-on enables users to access Databricks using their existing Azure Active Directory credentials. 
Azure Synapse Analytics. Here we will understand data warehousing and hybrid approach. The Azure Databricks can be used in conjunction with Azure Synapse Analytics for big data warehousing and analytics workloads. The Databricks can be used for data preparation, transformation, while Synapse Analytics can be used for analytical queries and reporting. Azure Machine Learning Here we will understand machine learning pipelines and model development. The Databricks provides tools to build and manage the machine learning pipelines by integrating seamlessly with the Azure Machine Learning services. And the trained model can be deployed to Azure Machine Learning or other cloud platforms for real-time inference. Azure Monitor Here we will understand monitoring and alerting. The Databricks provides built-in monitoring capabilities, leveraging Azure Monitor for advanced diagnostic and performance analytics. As well as we can set up the alerts to be notified for any issues in Databricks environment. After discussing all these points, I hope you understood the working of Azure Databricks with the Azure Cloud. In summary, we can say that the Azure Databricks acts as a bridge between your data and various Azure services, providing a comprehensive and scalable platform for data processing, analytics, and machine learning. Now we will understand the managed integration of Databricks with the open source technologies. The Databricks has a strong commitment to the open source community. That means Databricks helps to develop and maintain the software that anyone can use and modify freely. As well as Databricks manages the updates for open source integrations in the Databricks runtime releases. Let us see the few open source projects originally created by the Databricks employees. Delta Lake and Delta Sharing These are the tools for managing and sharing the data. MLflow It is a tool for managing the machine learning projects. Apache Spark and Structured Streaming These are the tools for processing large amounts of data. Redash It is a tool for creating the data visualizations. So this is all about the managed integration of Databricks with the other open source technologies. What is Azure Databricks used for? The Databricks is used for data warehousing and analytics. Here you can store and analyze the large datasets. Databricks is also used for the machine learning. Here you can build and deploy the predictive models. Databricks is also used for the data engineering. Here you can ingest, transform and prepare the data for analysis. Real-time data processing. Here the Databricks handles and analyzes the data as it is generated. Collaborative Data Science It enables teams to work together on the data projects. In summary, we can say that Azure Databricks provides a unified environment for data scientists, data engineers and data analysts to collaborate and leverage the power of Apache Spark for various data projects. So in this video, we discussed these five points. Introduction of Azure Databricks the relationship between Apache Spark and Azure Databricks, working of Azure Databricks with the Azure Cloud, the managed integration of Databricks with the open source technologies, and what Azure Databricks is used for. I hope you understood all these five theoretical points that we discussed in this video. I'll see you in the next one.